This is Dan Hannon. I'm here for Athletic Turf. I'm here with Bill Finley. He's the head groundskeeper for the St. Louis Cardinals here at Bush Stadium. Um, thanks for having us out today. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming. Uh, you got a lot of stuff going on here. We've been dodging some weather. You probably right. have some weather happening tonight and stuff. Um, how'd you get started in this industry? Uh, you know, I started in the minor leagues. I started working. I, I was in the military for four years, and I got out of the military and was looking for a summer job, actually, before I went back to school. I was getting ready to go back to college. Um, and a buddy of mine was working in the minor leagues. He was a head groundskeeper for the Phillies organization in low A. And he was looking for somebody to be his assistant for a summer. So I figured I'd do that for a summer. And next thing you know, here I am. I mean, I'm 25 years later, here mm -hmm. I am still doing it. So uh, it was kind of a happenstance. I just felt like I had a summer job opportunity. I took it and, it, and look where it led me. It led me into a career. So, What's the biggest challenges you have? Uh, well, being in the Midwest, weather is, is a big, big problem for us. I mean, uh, it's we're right on that line of what type of grass you can grow here and grow it well. It's no grass <laughs> out there grows well in the Midwest. I mean, we, you know, you're on the borderline of growing Bermuda and, and transitioning with ryegrass or with what we have here, which is bluegrass. Uh, you know, the bluegrass will struggle in these months, June, July, and August. We kind of struggle a little bit with it, uh, especially when you're fighting the heat, humidity. You know, your, your disease pressure is really high. So... I would say the biggest issue, obviously, is the weather. I mean, you know, in trying to balance that balancing act of keeping the, the turf healthy through the really hot, wet months. So. Yeah, and you, I mean, you guys get really cold winters here. And we do. Yeah, that's and, then that's, and that's what hurts you with the Bermuda. You know, you can, yeah. get, you can get winter killing the Bermuda. So it's, it's, it's trying to find that balancing act with the right type of turf. And we found that bluegrass has worked pretty well for us. You know, we've got about eight weeks out of the year that we really have to baby it mm -hmm. a lot. Um, but we can get through those two, two months worth of really hot weather. We can usually pull it off, so... How many guys do you have working? Uh, during the day, there's about nine of us down here. Uh, yeah. And then when the, the, my game staff comes on, we roughly have about 18 guys. I try to have 18 guys here, obviously, for the tarp. Mm -hmm. I mean, the more guys we can have, the better chances are of getting that tarp on and off faster and do the things we need to do. Because there's a lot of moving parts to a tarp hole when you want to get it out fast and keep the field dry. So yeah. the, more, the more hands you can throw at it, the better. So <laughs> Yeah, you, you kind of take the middle position on the tarp. Right, I mean, I, you, yeah. can, you can communicate both right. directions. And luckily, I have, a, I have an outstanding assistant. Mm -hmm. Networking is a big part of this. I mean, mm -hmm. if you really want to get yourself out there, I would tell anybody that's starting in this industry, get out there. Don't be scared to get yourself out mm -hmm. there and do something you're not comfortable with, You know, mm -hmm. whether it be go... You know, you don't want to go work in a parks and rec league, but you know, it's it's important to see that side of it, and then you can carry yeah. that part into maybe a minor league job. And you know, it's it's important to get out there and see all the different facets of groundskeeping, mm -hmm. uh, not just trying to get straight to the big leagues because it doesn't always work that way. Yeah. So, it's important for people to get out there and get their name out there, network with different mm -hmm. people. So, I, and I think that goes a long way.